Hey there, this is Peacekeeper Alex and the Psychic Wargamers. Uh, this is gonna be the Psychic Wargamers to the War Three Kingdoms Yellow Turban Rebellion campaign Let's Play number 44. And this is gonna be the Psychic Wargamers stream number 59. Let's carry on where we left off last time. So Kong Rong cornered in Dong Lai. Still at war as well. This will be short. Dong Sun Zan, yes, as well. And tai Shan, right next door to Dong Lai. Still that hot spot uh, over near Yellow River. You have uh, Yuan Shu. You have Kingdom of Song, as well as the Kingdom of Wei, and clashing with forces uh, from Zan Yan as well as the other rebel leader and then our, of course our alliance with Gong Du you can see forces all on, you know sort of on the other side of the river from each other battling it out each turn and then of course we go over to this one of the one of the cities here jade mine technically speaking uh, surrounded you can see on one side by my territory, and then on the other side, Gong Du's territory. This one settlement, surrounded South South settlement in Chang'an. Uh, to the south, we see more Kingdom of Wei uh, settlements as well. To our territory near Wu Du Imperial City, uh, you can see Wu Du Copper Mine, Baxi Livestock Farm, Baxi City. Chengdu Farmland, Ba Small Regional City, and Chengdu Salt Mine, Kingdom of Wei. And then all the way along, you can still see settlements all the way along to the south, until finally there's this small pocket of Han uh, Empire, which we haven't seen too much of them uh, in this in this campaign. Uh, but we do see a lot of Kingdom of Wei, and again, right onto the other side of that territory, Regards to the Han Empire, you can see uh, Po Yang, Lu Jiang, and uh, Yang Zhao to the south, finally reaching over to the east, uh, and just this large swath of territory that is cutting right between a certain kind of peace and prosperity, that, and, and a bit of a, a bit of an upsetting factor that's been throughout the entire campaign for a while now, uh, since we started moving through uh, Lu Bei. And even Kingdom of Song up over to the west. No, east. East. <laughs> Not west. Remain firm. You can see uh, the amount of Kingdom of Wei uh, territory, which is right between two of our territories. You can see to the west and to the east, we have two large landmass uh, territories, but right in the middle, Kingdom of Wei. Uh, to the south, to the east, to the west, and right through to the center, uh, near to the nearing to the Yellow River, uh, until there's finally Yuan Shu, who he's also at war with. Again, South Cao, Kingdom of Wei. We've mustered up enough forces uh, to try and take to try and take that that that, that center centerpiece right between our lands, Chen, which used to be ours because they started moving from the south, took Yang Zhao, took Chen. And we'll have to take it back, to a certain degree. Actually, I think they already had Yang, uh, Yang Zhao, didn't they? No, yeah, they, they had some of the territory, they had like, but not all of it. Some of it they've uh, captured, and we're gonna have to recapture it back. We can see three mustard armies and another two right off to the side, and the five armies to try and put a stop to Cao Cao, who's in uh, Yang, Ying, Ying Chuan, Ying Chuan. Uh, Kingdom of Song. He's is he attacking Kingdom of Song? He's right near there. Kingdom of Wei and Kingdom of two Kingdom of Wei forces right near uh, Kingdom of Song City, and we're gonna try and uh, put a stop to him. You can see one of our forces here trying to muster up strength near Runin and Jiangxia. But until then, deflect with shield, cleave with sword. I think we're going to try and surround Chen next turn. 
We're gonna do one more turn here. I think we're ready to go. Oh wait, one of the things we want to do here is we're gonna attack uh, Sunsei. I think we're gonna attack Sunsei. Let's see if it works. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't seem to be working. Return to standard position. Gather your strength. Marching. Serve the people. Forward. We're gonna end turn. Oh, we do have a lot of commanderies that we can work through here. Get some stuff going. Uh, I think we're gonna upgrade. Do we have enough food? We have enough food, so we can start upgrading uh, main uh, the garrisons and things of that nature. Already though, a lot of money in regards to that. We're getting 19k per turn, so we, we do have enough to be able to upgrade some of these settlements. Uh, 2k at the end of this uh, turn here. And we do have some points over here. What are they pointing to? Toys to strike. Dong Lai. So we can try and siege Dong Lai. China is people, a certain not its oppressive warlords. Ready yourselves. On the march. Steel for battle. Have courage. We're gonna try and build some siege equipment. With righteousness! We must wait until ready. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. No. And turn. Look at this. So we're getting attacked here. Battle of Ruin in Regional City. I don't know why we can't, uh, we don't have the forces from Ruin joining in. And then another one. He Yi against Kingdom of Wei. It's gonna be 2140 uh, against 1942 deployed. So I think we're gonna start battle here. Siege of Changsha Trade Port. And we're on our side, we're gonna have two units here, Yellow Turban Horsemen, two units Reclaimers, we're gonna have two units Yellow Turban Warriors, two units Yellow Turban Bowmen, also some Axe Wielder Vulgars, and we actually have a third Bowman as well, too. And the enemy looks to be rocking. Looks to be rocking. Uh, two swords. Some halberd. A spear unit. And they also got some uh, cav as well. Crossbows. And one general on the one side. I should put it on slow motion here. It says that the enemy here has more of the advantage, which might be the case. Because we do not have a general to be able to fully work with. So 
So let's see what we can do here. Again, they are attacking from the north. Uh, they also have another two spear units. They also have another bowman, swords, some lance cavalry, and saber militia. Oh, yeah, saber militia. Some more saber militia. Ah, crap. That was not good. I deployed some caltrops in the wrong area. So we are firing upon them. You can see the Lance Cavalry was fairly indecisive in regards to advancing over on the left flank. Of course, I'm looking south direction, uh, and on the right flank, uh, they're starting to maneuver. And it looks to be like they're maneuvering their spearmen away from that center area. So we're going to try and just leave one axe, one axe unit there in the middle. And on the right flank, we got some spearmen reclaimers ready to go. They're going to take that first, uh, that first hit when they hit us. I think I'm going to take this yellow turban spearman, uh, yellow turban horseman bring them off to the right flank and then swoop around and attack that center column that is attacking on the right flank. I think I'm going to do the same on the left flank and bring over that yellow turban horseman right to the left flank. Drops. You can see uh, on the left flank, medium halberds uh, moving in to try and uh, take on that reclaimer unit. We are facing Sun Quan, uh, Sun Qian, Sun Qian. People are far, I think. They are moving forth on the on the left there, getting past that archer tower, and are going to slam to that reclaimers unit. We did get uh, some yellow turban warriors to reinforce, so we're going to have a little bit more firepower on the left side. I'm going to be trying to move this uh, axeman unit, and I think I want to move him over to the left flank. I think that's the best bet. I got some left, uh, got some horsemen swooping around on the left flank. Got some horsemen swooping around on the right flank. I still have archers bearing down on the enemy, and the enemy archers actually, Defenders of Earth, medium bow infantry, have been hit fairly hard. Got 35 health. Speed it up. Clashing on both sides on the left flank and the right flank, trying the you know, enemy trying to break through. Spearman on the left and right flank. Short up. Look at the enemy run. Craven. Judge! For the way! To attention! Let's fly! Fight! And we're gonna get the uh right flank horseman attacking from behind, and around the left flank we're going to do the same except with a axe wielder vulgars while the left flank horsemen take care of the bowmen. Enemy 
warriors are running. Ha! Right flank uh, is folding for the enemy. They are trapped between horsemen and a large amount of uh, Malay infantry. And on the left flank, they got a lot more, though. There's a story to battle at times, and it exists uh, within the confines of gameplay and gaming as well. You can see the flow of battle, and sometimes feeling that flow lends towards uh, a certain kind of story. A certain kind of story as to what happens on the battlefield. You can see here this Lankai Spearman unit uh, is fighting fiercely for survival trapped right outside the arrow towers I take on multiple uh, units on my side with the general trying to attack the archers behind stopping that bow fire upon them and right over here you can see this large column of enemy uh, two white guard uh, tiger guard enemy, two swordsmen two spearmen and a halberd trapped uh, with their enemy general Zhang Fei causing damage you can see the amount of dead my side here that he's caused. I got two bows firing upon that column of enemy that are trapped with that Axeman unit right behind, causing problems. And then, of course, that Yellow Turban Horseman still attacking uh, the crossbow. Crossbow is a strong unit in melee, really. And there's a flow to it. Sending the archers. Make ready. Fei cutting swaths and just all kinds of havocs on my lines in regards to the left flank even though we have that axe wielder Volga right behind they put a stop to that sort of charge his enemy lines charging outwards again again this column still surrounded for the enemy bringing forth the right flank remainder over to this Look side to try and vanquish run. and Zhang Fei's on the move he is retreating There is the enemy general making a move. Sun Quan for the center of the city. And I don't have too many horsemen left. I got the one horseman unit way off on the left 
I'm gonna have to send him back to the city center here, just in case. I'm actually gonna send this Bowman unit as well. And it looks like he's gonna attack our line. Sun Quan moving over that left flank, but not doing anything, and it retreating. And the left flank is folding, multiple units here retreating. Axe Wielder Volger is creating a certain kind of screen line on the retreat. Well, two swordsmen left, King Surrenderous and White Tiger Guard. Look at the enemy run, Craven. Medium and heavy sword infantry. Axes, attack! Attack! And we got another two units here, Yang Tsao Jai Infantry, Lankai Spearman, and the White Tiger Guard retreating, now surrounding that axe unit that was initially surrounding the enemy. Now to be surrounded. retreat upon maneuvering those forces on the left flank. Leaving one pesky medium sword infantry off to the left flank, getting hit by arrow fire from the enemy. Victory. From the roots to heaven.
Yee Yee against Kingdom of Wei. A Siege of Changsha, Trade Port Pirate Victory for He Yee, 2140 deployed, 1159 lost, 981 remaining, uh, 86 enemy captured, 1942 deployed for the enemy, 1529 lost, 413 remaining. So again, even the numbers in regards to certain battle uh, relay a certain kind of story, certain kind of numerology and symbolism, metaphoricals, a, a lot of other things too. To work. And Dong Lai, they end up attacking. Kong Rong ends up attacking. We're gonna retreat. Stand down. I'm wondering if he sallies forth here. Nope. Development Serene State City Watch. The holy man is square but not sharp, strict but not obnoxious, upright but not restraining, bright but not dazzling. We've studied the scriptures and have taken our next step towards enlightenment. What shall we study next? So let's take a look here. We uh, ended up going with that second tree and trying to finish uh, certain kinds uh, healing rituals or rally sympathizers. I think we're going to do healing rituals. Greatly uh, helps replenish me. It's a decent. Fiery versus enigmatic. Uh, as you were talking, uh, as you were taking in the air, you overhear a conversation between two colleagues. There is strength in mystery, my friend. Do not be so bold all the time, says the first. What? cries the second. I do not see your point. My passion is irrepressible. I cannot contain it. The two make you laugh, but also pose an interesting qu question. We don't have fiery, we have an enigmatic, so we can wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, so we have fiery, so we can choose fiery, not enigmatic. Fiery it is. Relationship deepens between he and Hua Zong. Hua Zong. Rivals He Yi and Yuan Shao. We went to war with one another. This may not end well. Rivals. Relationship lost, Gong Du and He Yi. That's not good. Makes no sense. So we're gonna push this person forward and we're gonna try and siege Dong Lai. Return to standard position. Remain firm. Strike them! So here we go. It's gonna, it says it's going to be a valiant defeat. Uh, Siege of Dong Lai, Imperial City. We're going to build some siege equipment. And next turn, we're going to... We're going to siege. Yeah, 2,254 as well as 2,774 against 5,053. So yeah, right around the same numbers. They have about 500 more troops than us. Continue we siege. Strike as one blade. Kong Rong's last stand. Pretty much. Tai Shan, we got some, got some enemy there. Is this what's this Gong Sun do? Are we at war with this dude? This will be short. No, we're not. So we're not at war with him, but he is encroaching upon our land. So not good. We are at war with Gong Sun Zan, though. And look at the amount of forces Cao Cao has mustered up here. Holy smoke. Looks like he's moving on Gongdu. And he has four huge forces. And we're trying to chase him down with ours. And all of a sudden, the two armies that we have in support with the other three to try and chase down those four armies over in the north are getting attacked by another two armies here. Liu Bei is, not, is still alive. Oh my god. And the Kingdom of Wei, Sima Yi, right next door. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure this one out. Towards victory! To arms! Oh, here we go. And we are, we are well off. It looks like the, looks like Liu Bei is not gonna join Kingdom of Wei in regards to this battle. It's gonna be 3,023 and reinforcing 3,048 for He Yi against 2,693 for the Kingdom of Wei. 
Start battle. Battle of Pencheng, regional city. So, so we got a reinforcing army here. Uh, we got six bow units. We got another nine swords. We got two spears, three generals, and then a reinforcing army as well. And the enemy. Look, we're rocking three halberds, three field. swords, and three four cav. Two of it bow calves, mounted archers. stance. We're gonna send all six generals on my side. We're gonna attack the right flank Imperial Bulwark Spear Unit. We're moving out our army right now. We have a, a left flank uh, advantage as that reinforcing army is gonna slam there. Uh, but even our main army is gonna be right on the left flank anyhow because they got these long line of wooden stakes right in the middle. Our comrade is under attack! Generals are bogging down the right flank of the enemy here. To attention! No mercy! As we march our army right to their left flank. Stand ready! Steal yourselves! Take heat, warrior! 
Your best is not good enough. We're attacking this giant militia unit right from behind with all six generals. Now. And horsemen Hurry. chasing our generals down. Ready. Run. Move, move. Oil slicks right there. Right in front of our forces. See the reinforcing army trying to catch up to the main army here. I'm sending out three yellow turban warriors. Captured their arrow tower. Their tower is ours. Show no mercy. Ready, Ooh, some Defenders of Earth fire here, taking a, quite a punch out of uh, Archer Masters. Again, multiple clashes happening right behind our lines. Uh, right flank, Yellow Turban Warriors holding off a Feather Forbidden Orphan's Heavy Spear Cav. Giant Militia charging right Go behind on, them. Keep up. I know you can and end it. up not charging and maneuvering away. Enemy, uh, right flank holding off multiple units. Giant Militia here, Yellow Turban uh, Spearmen. Yellow Turban Warriors and Yellow Sky Heralds also taking on Heavy Yang Tsao Jai Infantry with the enemy general uh, Mu Zong and Sima Yi in the mix as well. Again, right next to that, you can see multiple fire pits here lit. Ended up traversing uh, Chanters right around, taking on Saber Infantry and then that enemy Saber Infantry is going to get attacked right from behind by way of two Yellow Turban Warrior units. Enemy Bowfire firing upon them. And next to that, you can see a shadow. Two units here, Protectors of Heaven and Armored Geon Sword Guard taking on the world. Three, six, eight, ten, tw twelve. Twelve units here taking on two units, and the enemy is doing fairly well in containing them. Spear Guards? Yeah, Armored Geon Sword Guard. You can see they look like they got the claimers kind of get up. Enemy on the left flank is surrounded. Right flank on my side, just holding off the rest of the enemy. Uh, my six generals in the mix here. And they need to get out of there quick. He is looking worse for wares. Sitting there, taking on three units, Axe, Axe Band and some Imperial Bulwarks, and another unit, He Yi, taking on two units by himself, and he needs to back away. Go, 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 go. So our generals uh, uh, back yourself. away here. Go, go, go. And that leaves the enemy to charge these three units again at that right flank guard. Yellow Sky Heralds, Yellow Turban Spearmen, Yellow Turban Warriors. We're going to shift some of that left flank uh, heavy power. Chao Ren, enemy generals surrounded by way of five generals on my side. We have killed an enemy general. So a battle on the right flank here with the enemy having more numbers. But on the left flank, them stalling with three units. Protectors of Heaven, Armor Geon Sword Guard, and Saber Infantry. Uh, attacked on all sides, but really bogging down my men from being able to get to that right flank uh, battle. The Imperial Bulwarks, Heavy Yang Tsao Jai Infantry, and the Jai Militia taking on Militia of Virtue, Yellow Turban Spearmen, and Yellow Turban Warriors, as well as some Yellow Sky Heralds and Yusha. 
Again, they still have some more in, in support as well, right nearby, Axe Band, Giant Militia, Axe Band, and again, right next door, you see this Tiger Rush Guard, Heavy Sword, Cavalry, as well as Giant Militia Unit, Feather Forbidden Orphans, taking on this one Yellow Turban Warriors Unit, just looking like... The Yellow Turban Warriors Unit right here is just really amazing. Left flank is finally folding here. Worse for wears, multiple units are going to be able to join that fray on the right flank. One of our generals has fallen. He, he has fallen. And that was upon that charge that I had just done right on the right flank against those uh, two cav units. Taking on that yellow turban warriors unit that was doing really well. Coming surrounded on that right flank. And just on this little hill too. A little bit of a height advantage. Some buffs here. Swords of the ready. Rise up. Loose. Steal yourselves. Strike them down. Strike. Take heed, warriors. The men are out of ammunition. Rushing that hill, surrounding that right flank. The enemy is embattled. Surrounded on all sides here. Mass route starting to happen. And not really, just one unit. Oh, they're on the breaking point. I'm surprised at how many men they've taken out in this game. Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna swoop right around the right flank now as the right... There is no more right flank for the enemy. This is, uh, embattled group. Here comes a smaller... Smaller conflict here. Rush through the lines here for the the PE forces and crash into that pillar that had been standing against for a while and breaking through, folding the enemy. He emerges victorious. Go, go, go! One last uh, Defenders of Earth unit. Getting bushwhacked here. Speed it up here a bit. I don't know where this last unit is hiding. Their tower is ours. Oh, there he is. Voice chaser Mark's been been running around this. <laughs> I guess these two units have been 
This one unit's been chasing this unit in the entire game, I think. Attend! Show fury! To attention! Fight! Attend! To attention! Do not relent! The enemy unit there we flees! Go. What the cowards! Great. has brought you to the very gates of your enemy. Behind their walls, they steel themselves against your armies. They cannot hold out forever. Yet an assault may be costly if not swift. Righteousness won today. 6,071 deployed, 3,539 lost, 2,532 uh, remaining, 161 enemy captured, uh, 2,693 deployed for the enemy, 2,409 lost, 284 remaining. So the enemy took 1,000 more away uh, from Yi Yi forces than, than the Kingdom of Wei uh, lost. So yeah, 3,500 lost on the one side, 2,400 lost on the other side. That is not good considering the advantage he, he had. Hmm. Battle of Pencheng, regional city. We're gonna recruit. We have need of courageous warriors. It's still able to uh, send Sima Yi on the run. Draw inwards and strike out. Poised to strike. Never yield. We're gonna delegate this. Picture victory, and it will be yours. We're gonna release. Let the captives recruit. go. To attention. Unified in intention. Steel for battle. Ever forward. I think we're gonna surround Chen and capture. Ever onwards. Strike as one! Starve out. Break their spirit!
point forwards as one. I think we're going to call it here. Uh, Dong, uh, Dong Lai, Kong Rong uh, is surrounded. Next episode, we're probably going to try and take that city. Uh, we've surrounded Chen, one of these cities right uh, in the middle between our two territories. That wedge that Cao Cao had for a long while uh, widened by way of him uh, stealing multiple cities upon this war that commenced. Uh, he is at the gates of... Uh, Yuan Shu, Lu Yang, with four armies and just right out of reach at Nanyang, our own city. Uh, and then, of course, found Lu Bei alive. Gong Lang Shu. Uh, he had, I don't know if he has any cities left or if he's just like a nomad traveling around. I'm not certain. Uh, and again, on the west, on the west, we see. Uh, we see that one city still held by uh, Cao Cao, supposedly. If we can see it here, yeah, there we go. And we do have two armies there trying to head towards the Chang'an. No, outwards and on. And then we have another uh, two armies as well. Uh, we're gonna have to send it towards uh, Chai Lan Yan, one of the, the Cao Cao generals, which is right near the uh, Yangtze River. And we're going to leave it here. Thanks for joining.